Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another vlog on the David Hammond YouTube channel, you beautiful people. Hopefully you enjoyed that B-roll fitness gym clip. I'm here with the man, Mike. Let's go guys. So many of you asked and said, yo, when are you going to get longer vlogs with Mike? Well, today is that day and that's because, show me your camera bro, it's, it's deep. Look what Mike is guys, look what we converted him into. This guy's a full-time YouTuber now. Well, not full-time, but like he's a YouTuber. He's also making a vlog today. So, with that said, guys, we are here at Mucho. He's on the What's the flex? I have an enormous chicken burrito here. I'll be uh, packaging. Let's go. It's an absolute. I'm gonna say beast. mine's bigger. Oh yeah, mine's yours, yours is <laughs> way bigger. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. The, the girl, she what did I say? The guy, she says not to worry about versus you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, though, yeah, guys, so we just got some uh, regular sized burritos. My guy packed it. It kind of looks like a mucho size, but it is not. It is a regular, I would say, a good at least four to five pounds. With that said, guys, we're about to eat this, demolish. Then I believe I'm going to go get some groceries afterwards, do a little full day of eating with you guys. I believe this video was titled Three Muscle Building Tips that I'm going to be really just ensuing during this winter. You could quote unquote call it a bulk. I'm not bulking, but, uh, I will be having a nice, lean muscle face, so I want to give you guys some tips. And you tell me, what are you doing? Because you're not, you're not bulking. We're just starting YouTube. I'm cutting, yep. and uh, I just I've been bulking for about a year now. So this cut, this cut's gonna be pretty serious, guys. Uh, I'm on. tracking it. I got a, a notebook. I'm writing down all my workouts, tracking macros, calories, protein, carbs, fats. We're doing it big this time. Fast. We're gonna get shredded. What's the current current <laughs> weight, goal weight? Current weight is about 185. Goal weight, I'm probably trying to sit around 165, 170. Wow. Real lean. And then he's stepping on stage and competing men's physique. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding. So, so yeah, guys, Mike's channel will be linked down below because he now has a YouTube channel where he's going to be documenting his weight loss uh, journey. That sounds bad. It sounds like he's obese. He's going to get shredded. His shred journey. It's and, a weight uh, loss journey. Sure, you call it a weight loss journey. And then uh, for us, we're going to be gaining some muscle. So with that, let's get up a time lapse and I'll see you guys probably uh, with groceries. All right, all right, my peeps, let's go. How you doing? It is a little bit later, 6.40 rocking here with, had an amazing burrito with Mike, just an awesome chat. I haven't had a heart to heart with him in a while because we've only been talking in the gym, but again, guys, now that he's on YouTube, uh, things, uh, well, you should see more of him and things should be moving forwards. Anyways, with that said, I'm outside the one and only Food Basics. Come on, baby. We save money on our groceries out here. Holy crap, my arm has been spazzing up so much lately. It spazzed like four times. My goodness, I'm sorry, I need my electrolytes. With that said, guys, we're about to go get groceries. Today is a full day of eating slash muscle building kind of vlog, so with that, let's do it. I'll see you back home, maybe prep some food. I am running a little bit behind, need to get my ass to Starbucks. You guys know the flex, I go there every single evening to crank out a lot of work, so yeah, enough talking, get home, do the groceries, and then see you in that clip. And just like that, we are home. Let's get it going. Rocking here with 736. About to go to Starbucks quite soon, guys. I got a nice, moderate amount of groceries, as you can see here, and I want to quickly explain what they are to keep you guys up to date. It's nothing crazy. Not too much has changed, but regardless, uh, yeah, let me show you. All right, guys, so in no particular order, but let's get it going. First, starting off with baby spinach. I love putting this in protein dishes. You can put this in omelets, egg whites, you know, really whatever. It's very versatile. We got some chicken, which I'm actually going to cook up right now. A little tip for you guys, get meat that's on sale. Not always, especially if it's like expired, if it looks bad, but if it looks pretty good, it's 40, 50% off. It's going to go bad in like a day. Just cook it up that day. You're good to go. Okay. Um, then we got some turkey burgers. I love these um, 12 of them for $10. What I'll do is because they're all frozen, I'll just batch them in the oven, bake them, or I guess cook them. And then I'm good to go after that we have our three obligatory almond milks you guys know the flex that is for all of my protein shakes which are of ghost you guys know my two amazing favorite flavors that is blueberry toaster pastry and then our a fruity cereal milk I never thought I'd be the guy to like the fruity ones I don't even really like the chips ahoy or the peanut butter one I don't know why it's just with ghost after that guys we are rocking with our chips I freaking love these guys the Miss Vicky's chips we have the jalapeno and the spicy dill pickle I think it's like spicy sriracha dill pickle anyways super bomb. I usually have that with my protein dishes. So if I'm having some like extra lean ground beef with some rice for a little bit of a crunch, I'll either have carrots or for that flavor crunch, I'll have those chips. After that, we have a vector bar. We have one thing, a carton of egg whites. I have my two reins. You guys know what's up. Let's get it going. What flavors? Hashtag orange dreamsicle and, uh, uh, the lemon hoods, HDZ. I also like the blue or the razzleberry. 
After that, guys, we are rocking with our mayo. Of course, I get the half uh, fat. It's really good. I put that on many dishes. Just good way to get in a bit of fat, and it tastes great. We got our peanut butter. I have that with my protein cereal mixes pretty much every single morning. We then got our frozen vegetables, two packs of those for the meals. I mean, that's pretty obvious. We have four cans of salmon, guys. I really like salmon. I prefer this over tuna. Yes, it's a bit more expensive, but because it has a bit more fat, it just tastes way better. And these, especially these big ones, like they can really help you with a meal. So if I'm having some vegetables, um, maybe I have a packet of rice over there and I don't have a protein for the day, one of these, smack one of these in. What is it? You're looking at 40 grams of protein just in this can right here, which is fantastic. And then got our carrots and hummus. You guys know the flex. We've got our Havarti cheese. I normally get Swiss cheese as it's very lean, but they didn't have it. Got some vector bars. I showed you the other one there. After that, we got our bread. Of course, you guys know what's up. I got this oatmeal. Um, I don't have too much oatmeal, but sometimes I will pre-workout. And I just remember this one being amazing, the cocoa and sea salt. It just tasted super bomb. I then have my four rice packs, which I would be having if I didn't have the burrito. This is my normal dinner. I'll cook up one of these guys two minutes with a good protein source of chicken, extra lean ground beef, whatever, and then some of the frozen vegetables. I have my two lunch meats right here for sandwiches as well. In the morning, sometimes I'll make a good, just like classic breakfast, so like eggs, turkey bacon, or chicken bacon with some toast and that's pretty much it guys i think this came out to about just over a hundred dollars or so i did also get some cleaning supplies which you know you don't need to see because you don't eat those but anyways guys that is it as far as the groceries go i'm now going to put these all away get a little bit of a time lapse shower up then go to starbucks and then really get this video going tomorrow nice and early when it's bright i can think more clearly i have a thousand things going through my mind right now i don't know about you guys is this like the time of season when everyone just goes crazy i am thinking of a billion things my anxiety is like through the roof um, in a good way, I guess, but yeah, I just, I need to slow down. So anyways, let me put these groceries away and then I will see you guys tomorrow morning. We'll get some time lapses of the meditation yoga. You guys know what's up when I'm thinking more clearly. See you then guys. Good night and see you tomorrow. vlog. I know you guys never left, but it's the next day. Hopefully you enjoyed those time lapses. A little bit later, guys, rocking here with 11 o'clock. Normally, I'm waking up around 9, 9.30, I would say. And uh, yeah, I mean, some days are easier to get out of bed. Some days aren't, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not complaining. We continuously move forward, guys, despite the quote-unquote challenges or obstacles. We just, you know, as long as you can just get up and do what's in front of you every day, I truly believe God or life will take care of you, you know. I'm not saying you have to feel the best, but as long as you can just get up, do what you gotta do, go through the motions, and uh, I think life will take care of you. So we're grateful, you know, all is good. Anyways, guys, I now wanna take you through a full day of eating today. I'm not tracking calories or macros anymore. I only did that, that one video, just to see how many calories I was eating, which was around 32, 3300. So about that, we are first starting off our meal today with my go-to pre-workout slash breakfast. So this is our Vector Protein Cereal, guys. It's fantastic, it's a high protein cereal. Hopefully you guys have it where you live. I'm here in Canada. Then what I'll do is from Ghost, which they still haven't sent me that care package yet. Hopefully they are. I'll get one scoop of their fruity cereal milk protein powder with almond milk. Oh man, it's so good. It tastes like Fruit Loops. And then what I'll do, we have our protein, we have our carbs, which this actually has quite a bit of protein too. I'll then get my fats through peanut butter. And because I'm the only one who eats it, I will literally just get like tablespoons of peanut butter and eat it. Maybe that freaks some of you guys out. It's fantastic. I love this meal. I've been eating it for months on end. It's either this or I'll make protein pancakes, which are fantastic, but they do take a little bit longer to make. So this is my go-to. This is my first meal. I'm going to eat this, get up a time lapse, check out How to Beast's new video because they just launched their new clothing line. You can use coupon code Hammond. Hopefully my clothing comes in today. I just got an email saying it's on the way. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes in today so I can unbox it with you guys. But let's get up a time lapse. Then I believe I'm gonna go for a walk, intro this video, and get these muscle building tips on deck, baby. All right, guys, what is going on? I know I said I'd see you uh, out walking, but beforehand, I do wanna prep up some meals, some protein, I should say, because this is really the main thing that my diet and your diet is gonna revolve around. So let's get this up, and while I cook it, let's have a little chat and intro the first tip of muscle building, baby. You like that distortion, the gains? And that, guys, is really optimizing your diet. 
So, now as we have the chicken cooking up, guys, and by the way, if you're wondering, just buy those in bulk. Those are three packs of chicken. You can go to Food Basics like I go to. I think I got some of those at Walmart a little while back, and if you want, guys, just throw it in your freezer. It's completely fine. Cook it up when you're good to go, and yeah, there's quite a bit. Three packs, guys. This will last me probably like two and a half days. I go through this quick, and that is because, guys, the biggest tip with diet that I can recommend that I'm really going to be tripling down on this winter, you could consider it the bulking season, which, again, I don't really like. But this winter in particular, because you have no excuse, guys, you have the time, you can go to the gym, you can prep your meals. This is categorizing all of your meals around protein. Now here's the reality of things, okay guys? Because the majority of food people eat is fast food or it's just anything that's convenient, usually it's going to lack protein. And as you guys know, protein is essential, literally and figuratively. It contains a bunch of essential amino acids that our body cannot produce by itself. So by ingesting these protein sources or these amino acids, what they're able to do through something called muscle protein synthesis is build up our internal amino acids, aka our muscles. Now like I alluded to beforehand, because the majority of foods guys are just fast food, it's convenient, it's cheap, it is going to neglect protein. That is because for the most part, protein, A, it's going to be a bit more expensive. So they're like, yeah, get that shit out of here. They want to keep things cheap. But two, for the most part, you have to prep your protein. And this is so important, guys. This is why throughout the week, I'll usually have one to two days where I will just batch a fuck ton of protein. We're talking like big things of extra lean ground beef, big things of turkey burgers like you guys saw, big things of chicken. And then it's so simple, guys. Literally, just get yourself a Tupperware, which you can go to Walmart, wherever, right? You guys are like... Look how many Tupperwares I have, but I mean like a big Tupperware container like that, put it in the fridge and that will last you the next two to three days. And then every meal I have besides my pre-workout meal, which you just saw here, the cereal, it revolves around that protein source. And because I always know I have a protein source, there's no excuse. I can always hit that protein intake and therefore through muscle protein synthesis, make gains. Guys, I know this sounds so simple, prepping your protein, but I don't know a single other person that does this. And then what happens when you don't have protein? You neglect it, you eat fast food, and again, the cycle just repeats. So get in your protein or categorize and focus your diet around those protein prepped foods. All right, guys, what is going on? It's a little bit later. It is a little bit later, I should say. I'm waking up, guys. I can't really speak right now. That's why we were sipping on that rain. Hashtag orange dream skull in this bish. And uh, yeah, guys, it's fantastic. I won't even cap. I was just, well, beforehand doing a bit of work, just chilling at home. And then I literally just parked in the uh, parking lot over there and I was just kind of sitting, meditating for like 20 minutes, just reflecting on my life, you know, reflecting on what I need to do better, the highs, the, the lows, the things. I'm very proud of the accomplishments, how far I've come, but like what I need to do better at because I don't know what it is, man, but these past few days, like there's been a lot of anxiety and just, just, just stuff, okay? <laughs> but it's all good. It's all part of the process. So I needed to come for a little walk, just clear my mind. We are at the marina. Let's go. You guys know the flex. What's going on? It's a little bit chilly out. Still quite nice with the weather, but a little bit chilly, especially because we're by the water. Anyways, though, the chicken is prepped. That's all good. We'll eat a little bit when we get home before we go to the gym. But before we do, guys, let's get up a drone clip with this beautiful weather. Can you guys believe that we literally used to skate like on the lake over there? And that'll be here in a, in a couple months time. It's almost November, so let's do it guys. Enjoy this drone clip and I'll see you back home uh, before we head to the gym. Drone clip in three, in two, in one, go. Let's get it going rocking here with 2.30, got back home. Today's been a very weird off day for me. <laughs> Goodness, man, just a lot of reflecting and uh, it's a very slow day, you know, but it's all good as long as you guys get what you need to get done for the time being. Uh, you know, you gotta give yourself a bit of lee room, you know? Life's not always gonna be, we're not machines, guys. You know, we are, but not literal machines. We are still human and we have emotions and we work in seasons. Anyways though guys, I hope you enjoyed that drone clip. I now have my next meal. It is the chicken we prepped up in the big container with one of those two minute rice packs. I also threw in a little bit of spinach in the chicken for a bit of micros, although it wilts down at tons, there's not much. 
With that though, guys, about to eat this, do some work, go to the gym. But before I do, I wanna give you guys that next tip, the next muscle building tip, right? Preferably, or specifically going into these colder months, but I mean, you can apply this whenever. The first one, this was categorizing all of your meals around protein. Number two, guys, this is with your training. Now take a look, okay? By the way, this is really good. As you guys know, I've been lifting now for over nine years. In the past five months or so, it's been really targeted towards powerlifting. I have a competition coming up in like three weeks time, which is pretty crazy to think of. But as you guys know, lately I've been toning it down a little bit. I'm still incorporating the powerlifting stuff, don't worry. But especially once this powerlifting competition is done, I'm going back to my standard pull push legs routine. Now the reason I like pull push legs so much and especially with myself hitting it twice a week, so I'm actually working out six days a week, hitting every muscle twice a week, this really ensures an optimal amount of hypertrophy for each muscle. Progressive overload is at an all time high. And because of this, my second tip guys is increase your muscle training frequency. Now, essentially all this means, guys, is I want you to train your muscles more frequently, okay? Instead of just hitting your legs once a week, like, to be honest, most guys don't even do that, but instead of hitting your legs once a week or your chest once a week, I want you to try to hit it twice a week, okay? Now, you can do this in however way you want. Personally, I like to have pull-push legs and just repeat that twice a week. That way, I'm able to spread out my volume over multiple workouts, meaning I don't need to have just a chest day where I'm hitting like eight chest exercises and absolutely killing it. I think what's better is for you to tone down that volume a little bit and then to hit it again. The reason for this guys is because studies have showed that after around two days time uh, post hitting a muscle, the muscle protein synthesis levels uh, repairing that muscle diminish quite a bit. So if you're able to hit it again, right, break down the muscle fibers again, it then through eating your protein, your diet, it's able to facilitate more muscle protein synthesis. It's able to recover and grow that muscle even more. So instead of just once a week, right, and then it caps off after a couple days, spike it again. This is why I think training more frequently is fantastic. And if you think about it guys, when I was powerlifting training, I was essentially hitting my muscles like every single day. Like I was hitting legs like five days a week. I was hitting, you know, chest like four days a week. I was hitting back four days a week. There was a lot of frequency. I think that was a bit too much. I was burning out. But again, keeping the frequency high, keeping that muscle protein synthesis high, keeping your body always repairing your muscles, ready to fire, that will transform your physique. With that said, guys, let me eat this meal. I already had a few bites. Crush this. I gotta bang out some work. I'm definitely running a bit behind. Just, you know, that's life sometimes. And then go to the gym. We'll talk to you guys just before we go hit legs, right? My second leg day of the week, right? Really getting that frequency in. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys then. And right guys, let's get it going a little bit later. How you doing? Just post it up or am posting up a video on the channel doing the, can you see the computer in the office? In the office, my bedroom. Anyways, a little bit later, did some work. It is four o'clock or just afterwards. Honestly, I like to train normally around midday. So around 2.30 or so like I did yesterday, but sometimes when I get backlogged with work, uh, you know, I go a little bit later, which is not the end of the world. It's okay. I just don't like to take pre-workout ideally past three o'clock, four o'clock, eh, you know, it's not the end of the world, but I'm definitely gonna be a little bit jittery tonight. So I like to go for a lot of walks, which is another tip for you guys, but that's irrelevant. Anyways, with that said, guys, today is light legs day. Like I've told you, I do pull push legs heavy and then pull push legs light. So speaking a little bonus tip on top of the higher frequency, I would also recommend you guys vary up or change your rep ranges. Really, this is just going to facilitate further progressive overload by hitting both of your uh, muscle switch fibers. If you're fast switch muscle fibers, which are much more explosive, right? So these are going to be utilized using those heavy squats, heavy compound lifts, heavy deadlifts, heavy barbell movements. And then what I'll do is I'll have a light day, a little bit more focused on accessory movement, focusing more on those slow twitch muscle fibers, which are more of our endurance muscle fibers. So a slightly higher rep range, more machines, etc., etc. Plus it gives my nervous system a bit more of a rest uh, when you go a bit lighter. So that's what today is. With that said, guys, check the fit, check the fit. Come on, baby. we got that shirt. We got those hybrid shorts and the socks. Y'all know what's up. I really like these shirts and I'm so glad I wear them now because I have dedicated leg days, so I'm not really getting a pump upper body. So I have an excuse to wear a t-shirt and uh, yeah, military man just looks fucking sick. Let's go guys. Anyways, still rocking that pre-workout ghost, which I just found out how to beast potentially maybe coming out with his own supplement line. So you know what? Maybe I'm going to say fuck you ghost and just go there instead. But in all seriousness, coupon code Hammond for this. The new launch has not come in yet, but it should be here. Hopefully when I get back home or tomorrow at the latest, I wanted to show you guys on camera, but just be sure to follow my Instagram. You can see it then. With that said, guys, enjoy this gym clip, and then I will check you in that third and final muscle building tip I'm really gonna be utilizing, <laughs> especially during these colder winter months. Let's go, guys. Three, two, one, go. Uh, back on deck on my fly shit. Uh, really on, really on my shit. Uh, pay some respect to my mindset. Hair blowing smoke, catch a contact. 
Niggas really mad they can't stop us Back on the scene, young conscious Always been me, yeah, I'm poppin' I ain't really here for the gossip, nah Blah, 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 yeah, I'm hot, bitch Try to play me, but you tried it Way too wavy, gotta ride it Pull up on you, yeah, we slidin' Make our eyes roll when I slide in Neck on wrist, on shine, man Tell them say less, no comment And we only here for the commas Ay, pull up and hop out, we slidin' Load it away on the side, and these niggas be lyin' Skatin' on days, we glidin' I'm hittin' that bitch in the driving. Hittin' that bitch while we vibin' You know I be on that time and light up, I'm firing. Dress it up, yeah, I be stylin' Eat up the drip, she be dinin' Straight to the top, she be climbing. We the ones that they admire All of these niggas expire. Ice on the boss and we hirin' Raisin' the hood where it's sirens They hoppin' on shit Welcome back to the video, let's get it going. How you doing? It is seven o'clock on the dot, 7.03, got back from the gym. That was an amazing leg day. That was a, <laughs> that was a tough leg day, man. I don't know if it's just because I was kind of tired today, but man, that was rough, we pushed it. But uh, yeah, light leg day, always great. Good hypertrophy in the legs, good frequency. I'm feeling good. We just came back from Subway, let's go. Let me show you guys the meal. And yes, I'm not even gonna hide this, look at this. Boom, a dozen freaking cookies. I'm gonna eat this all right now. I'm joking. I had one uh, while driving in the car, pretty freaking bomb. I just got these guys for a little, I guess, treat that'll last me over the span of the next like four to five days. You can always put them in the freezer. You know, one or two a day, guys, it's not gonna hurt you, it's okay. 12 for six bucks, come on. Anyways though, the real meat is our foot long. Today, was the sub of the day, guys, and yes, we had Subway today and Mucho yesterday. Those are my go-to places. Sub of the day was turkey breast. So, you already know what we did. We made it a deluxe, which is 50% more protein. Whoa, that is packed. Mmm, baby, ready? So instead of six slices of turkey, it's nine slices. I use Swiss cheese instead of the processed fake white cheese. I learned that from Adri, and uh, yeah guys, so let's eat this up. Again, categorizing our meal around protein, right? Guys, you can still go out, you can get Subway, you can go get Mucho, but make sure the protein source you're getting is legit, and at least there's a good amount, so I recommend making your subs a deluxe, so it's just more of a protein-rich meal. I'm then gonna shower up, go to Starbucks, crank a good amount of work on this vlog, just, you know, admin stuff, and then get back home, most likely have one more meal, uh, probably fairly high in protein as well, and then I will give out that third final tip, guys. Time lapse. See you in the final clip. And alright, guys, end of the day, end of the video. Rocking here with around 12 o'clock. My phone is. There's my phone. Yep, 12 13. I know, quite late. Just spent a couple hours doing some work editing a video. I actually did not go to Starbucks. I've been editing here the past couple days just in the, uh, the family room, I guess you could call it. Just save a bit of time, save a bit of money on that tea, and uh, yeah, just chilling. Then went for a walk and ate some food. I'll put up the little clips here, guys. It was a fit bowl. These little frozen meals I get at the grocery store, they're actually pretty good. The macros are fantastic. A good amount of protein, a um, good amount of micros, so strongly recommend them, guys, especially late at night when you do want that convenience, still categorize it or really just push it towards a higher protein source. Also had two Subway cookies and a protein shake for quote unquote dessert. And that is it guys. That caps off the full day of eating, training, etc, etc. Let's now quickly touch on the third muscle building tip throughout the winter. I'm sure I've said this beforehand guys, but so many people neglect and undermine this. This is to rest. <sighs> And I know what you're thinking, David, rest, no shit, I do enough of that, but I'm not necessarily talking about this kind of rest, just sleeping. That is very important, don't get me wrong. I mean nervous system rest. You see guys, I'll be honest, this is something I've struggled with for many months. You know, the reason even today I felt kind of burnt out, kind of just anxious or this like lingering depression, you could say a lot of it just comes from stress and I don't even necessarily mean from the gym. You see guys, unfortunately, there's more things in life that stress you than just lifting weights. And in fact, I would argue that it's those things, yes, collectively with the lifting weights, but it's mainly the life stresses that just cause this central nervous system fatigue, this just anxiety, this just lingering, ugh, your body's always kind of in a fight or flight state. And this is not optimal for gains. You see guys, the energy you bring to the gym is obviously extremely important. That's how you're gonna hit your new PRs, strive for more muscle gains, progressive overload, stimulate more muscle protein synthesis. But if you're fried and fatigued, then you can't really do any of that and so this is why guys I'm putting it out there to life to you right to myself to make more of a conscious effort to <laughs> it sounds so silly but to try to relax 
and I know in our modern day-to-day -day world, especially being a young entrepreneur like myself, or maybe you guys are young, it's not, I would, this is the hardest part. The first two, not a big deal. I can prep my meals, I can go to the gym, increase the frequency. It's the life stress part that I need to, and we all need to just, uh, you know, get better at, which we will. So if we can do that through doing things like meditating, going for walks, just clearing your mind, praying to God, many things like this, I truly believe will help give you that peace, which will then translate to more muscle protein synthesis, better gains, better workouts, etc., etc. So anyways, guys, that is it. That is the end of the video. I'm talking quiet because it is quite late. We got that fresh hoodie. Just went for a walk, like I told you, with the green joggers. You guys know what's up. Coupon code Hammond. And hopefully by the next vlog, you'll see the new fresh launch, guys. I'll finish it here, guys, with the final plugs. If you guys are interested and would like to work with me on a personal level at anything of what we spoke about here, improving your fitness, nutrition, maximizing your overall physique, there's always one-on-one -on -one coaching, guys. Spots are open. We have group coaching, which is the workshop. You can check the one coming up of November, guys. In less than two weeks' time, spots are still open. And finally, the self-development course, which, yes, has an entire section all on fitness, nutrition, intermittent fasting, increasing your masculinity, finding your passions, and turning them into a business online, becoming self-developed. Check them out down below, and let's get this video going. Or I guess it already got going. Let's finish it. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day. I'll check you in the next vlog. Time for me to rest up. And I don't just mean through sleep. Just relax. And uh, yeah, let's make more gains this winter, okay? Till then, guys, much love. Peace.